Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, afterward he was hungry. Now when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands... Hey friends, welcome back to another video. Um, I'm sharing kind of a modified morning routine. I've been trying to be a little more intentional with my health. <laughs> I'm not perfect. I'm still a work in progress and I've been slacking. I've been slacking on my workouts. Um, I don't know. This has been a lot happening and I lost a ton of weight. Well, it's a ton of weight for me. I lost like 10 pounds quickly and it was not in a good way it was just really probably stress and not eating and not making you know what i mean like not a good way and so i just didn't feel good and i wasn't really eating a lot so i didn't even feel like working out or even i didn't even feel like i should be working out because i had no nourishment so anyway now that i'm getting back on track i am trying to make over my mornings a little bit i am always going to start my mornings with god um, and even that looks different. Sometimes I am, I always pray, of course, um, but sometimes I'm reading and journaling and sometimes I am listening to, um, the Bible I love on the Bible app that you can just have it play aloud. Um, so that's what I'm doing this morning, um, while I'm doing my little mini morning routine before I head into the garage to work out if you've been here for a while I used to have my bike in my room I moved everything out into the garage so that is where I work out now so I'm just doing my little ice roller that thing feels so good in the morning oh my goodness it feels amazing and then I'm going to grab my water and try to get this workout in I hope you all are having a great start to your week if you're watching real time it is Tuesday yesterday was a very Monday Monday, 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 Monday. <laughs> it was the Mondayest Monday I've ever had in my life. Um, so I am happy that it is Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing well. And thank you so much for being here. I'm going to shut up and continue on with the morning routine.
so I am now in my garage I like to um, select different either a class or there's like different scenic um, views you can select um, I have the echelon bike um, to me it's the same as Peloton like some of the conversions are different but whatever um, and so I am selecting the ride that I want to do I think I and FaceTime with Michael. We're talking about something with our children. Um, and he's making fun of me working out, but whatever. And then I, Marco Polo, one of my good friends, because she is like a beast. She gets up, she takes her walks, she goes to the gym, she is on it. I was letting her know that I am on task on this morning, so we're having a laugh about that. And then I go into my music selection. <laughs> I like to listen to music, it just keeps me going. Um, I have this thing where I like to do five miles in 15 minutes and so I will typically pick songs that are about three minutes long and I'll create a playlist because I know that if I can um, get through these songs then I've done my um, 15 minutes so it's I don't know it's just the way I like to look at it and I listen to the same songs almost every single time I do my ride because I'm trying to get these five miles in within 15 minutes so that's how I look at it. Um, when I'm done, I'm tired. I am always extremely hot. I heard someone else say this, that it's very hard to um, finish your workout and then immediately like go to the shower. If you can do that, God bless you. I can't. I have to cool off. If I was to go get in the shower right after working out, I feel like I'm not even getting clean because I can't stop sweating. Um, it's weird. But anyway, so I like to come in. I'm going to wipe down my counter. I wipe down my countertops probably, I don't know, nothing shy of at least probably five to seven times a day. I just do it a lot. I'm going to start cooking breakfast and then I'm soon going to realize that I need to unload my dishwasher. So I'm just going to handle all the things and continue on with making over my mornings. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you Do just what you want You're the one I trust And I'll always be around When I need some love and baby No one else Yeah I need you down Need you down
I absolutely love the program that I selected for McKinley for a homeschool. I'll talk more about it like once we really, really, really get into it. I was um, recommended this particular program by some other YouTubers that are also homeschool moms and I do like it. It's um, really good. I love that she can get up and just get started without me. So she is up and at it. Um, she's very responsible. Um, aside from like the core subjects of you know math, language, arts, reading, science, social studies, she also has Bible, she has Spanish, um, art, and a financial literacy class that I teach myself. So um, <laughs> I need her to know about money my way. Um, but I just love that she can get up and get started and it's not... Um, something that I have to control. I feel like last year I was directly teaching her everything, um, which was good because I felt like I was able to true up some things that I felt like wasn't as solid as I wanted them to be from when she attended regular brick and mortar school. Um, so I was okay to do that. But now she's so self-sufficient and she's such a self-starter. Like she can just go, which I appreciate. Um, Typically, I have some type of laundry. Either it's laundry that I put in the dryer the night before or laundry that I started early in the morning. On this day, I needed to fold McKinley's clothes. And granted, yes, she can do it herself. And she does a lot of the times. But on this particular morning, she was doing school. So therefore, I went ahead and folded her laundry and put it away. She has tons of things. This was also, we just celebrated her birthday. So she had tons of gifts and we still have not gone through everything, but we are going to get a head start on that soon. So this is our little breakfast. I'm going to have eggs, bacon, hash browns, and toasts and grapes. McKinley, she does not, she, I don't know, she doesn't really eat meat <laughs> other than chicken. Um, but she'll have toast, hash brown, and yogurt, grapes, and applesauce. That is usually what she goes towards. Every now and then she'll want a waffle or like French toast or something, but this has been her breakfast of choice um, so far this week and I'm sure she will switch it up and want something different and quite frankly this has been my breakfast of choice this week as well so this is what we are eating. So now that I'm all done, 
I'm going to go ahead and clean up my kitchen. It's not bad. If I cook, I clean as I go. Um, but I'm definitely going to always try to put my dishes in the dishwasher. I am consistent with that. My kids, however, they will rinse them off but leave them in the sink. That is something that bothers me. And I will say it a million times. Put them in the dishwasher. But they'll rinse them out nice and clean. And they'll leave them in the sink. That bothers me so much. But anyway, I am getting my dishes put away. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to wipe down my countertops again. It's just one of those things. I just like to keep them clean. But I do want to thank you so much for hanging out with me in my updated, revised morning routine that's trying to get myself together. Because as this weather cools off, those pounds will come back if I'm not careful. So I'm trying to stay very active. So I'm just wiping down everything and then I'm going to head up to take my shower because it's time. I'm nice and cool and ready to start my day. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll catch you in the next one. Mwah. Heavenly Father, I come to you on this day seeking the peace that only you can provide. In a world that is filled with turmoil and uncertainty, I long for the tranquility of your presence. Please grant me the serenity to face the challenges that may arise in these upcoming days or for the remainder of the week. I ask that you provide me with a calm heart and a peaceful spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.